A Murray County firefighter lucky to be alive tonight after he falls through the floor of a burning home. Thank you for joining us for News 2 at 4. I'm Mark Kelly. Andy Cordan has this story of a hero saving a hero. Hey there, Mark. You know, it happened this past Tuesday afternoon. Now the house is fully involved and when firefighters arrive, they think people could be trapped inside, so they make entry into the burning house. Tuesday afternoon. Murray County Fire Respond 1828 Monsanto Road. Fire erupts inside this house on Monsanto Road. It's going to be a structure fire. With flames all around them. The black smoke coming from the house. Members of the Murray County Fire Department make entry. Heavy fire, Bravo side. And begin searching for possible victims inside. The engine crew, they forced entry and uh, began with a fire attack. As they pushed deeper into the burning home, suddenly... Uh, one of the firefighters partially fell through the floor. He's trapped. So he was wedged into the hole in the floor. The firefighters immediately signal Mayday. And then he tapped me on my leg once he had already fell through the hole. And he said, call for a Mayday. Indicating that there's a life-threatening emergency. And so I didn't think to... Grab from my radio, I just yelled, mayday, mayday, mayday. With flames all around the trapped firefighter. And then I started my efforts to pull him out of the hole. Five-year veteran Corey Fields springs into action to help his fallen partner. Was his leg all the way down, like up to his He hip? was in a scorpion sort of position, so one leg was tapping the back of his SCBA, and then another leg was to the side a little bit. Was he in trouble? Oh, yeah. How close a call was this? The fire helmets tell the story. This is one of the two helmets in the fire. This was after it's been cleaned. When the firefighters first go into the home, their helmets look like this, bright and shiny red. But after a few minutes next to that intense heat, those new helmets look more like charcoal briquettes. I mean, it's not normal to darken the helmets and, and to this level on a fire, but they just, they were encounter, encountering intense heat. Was there fire everywhere? Mm-hmm, yes, sir. You think you might have saved your partner's life? I believe so, yes, sir. Well, I appreciate you doing that. I bet he does. What did he say to you afterwards? He said, thank you, man, thank you. That you. really means a lot. It's Christmas time. Oh, yeah. That was your gift to him, <laughs> Yes, <it>? sir, it <laughs> was. That's cool. Now, thankfully, none of the firefighters was seriously injured, and it turns out there were no residents inside that house at the time of the fire. That's really good news. Back to you guys. Oh, such a good story, Andy. Thank you so much. Well, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Fire officials telling News 2 it does not appear suspicious.